Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I am Jake Smash. This is a Watcher of Realms video. It is 2029, Thursday, February the 8th. And in this video, we are going to briefly explain why you should not be summoning this weekend, all right? Very quick, while we're navigating there, make sure you smash that subscribe button. There are four summoning events going on this weekend, starting tomorrow, f Friday, February the 9th. We have Special Invocation of Spirits. This is a 10x rate for some champs we're going to discuss. Ancient Summoning, Crazy Invocation, Crazy Divine, all right? We'll start at the bottom and work our way up. Crazy Divine, Crazy Invocation. These are your two times banners for your blue summons and your gold summons, all right? So uh, you've got double the chance of getting a legendary that you normally would, but there's no increased chance for any specific champion, all right? These are really good in general, right? More legendaries are always a good thing for your account, uh, but you don't want to pull on this. Ancient Summoning. You don't want to pull on Ancient Summoning. This is just a standard Ancient Summoning banner. You don't want to pull for Ancients this weekend because there are, uh, I mean, unless you're just feeling more than likely you don't want to pull because uh, you want to wait for, uh, because there are so few Lords. Sorry, I stumbled over that for a while. There are so few Lords, Legendary Lords, that when there is a 10x banner, you are almost guaranteed to pull the one that is on the banner if you pull the legendary. Okay? It is uh, very, very highly effective. Highly effective, very high value added um, when there is a banner. So you want to wait for a specific banner that you want for your account, whether that's a Twin Fiend or whether it's a Venoma or whether it's an Aracha or whether it's a Praetis, right? Praetis is what everyone should be waiting for. Either Praetis, who is a Busted Supreme War oh, Supreme Overlord Supreme Arbiters. Oh my goodness. Supreme Arbiters Legendary Lord. Um gone. Excellent chaotic legendary lord. And soon incoming, right? There will be a new chaotic legendary lord, Valderon, who is busted good. All right. So you should be holding out for one of them. Hold on to your ancient summons unless you just feel like blowing money. In that case, you do you. I still say we should be friends. The one that actually is tempting for some people is the Special Invocation of Spirits here, where it's a 10x banner for Salazar and Keneza, okay? Keneza first. I don't know why I clicked on Salazar. Keneza first. Keneza is uh, a Nightmare Fighter. She's decent. She really is. She's got some specialized attack speed. Um, she's got a dodge ability. I think she's got specialized attack speed. Definitely dodge. Now I'm questioning everything I know. Maybe it's just built around dodge. I'll double check that. I don't see the specialized attack speed. I don't know where that's coming from. Uh, she's got a dodge mechanic. And she can put out some decent damage. She's decent. She's not meta anywhere. She's not crazy exceptional. Her, uh, her talent, her, um, excuse me, her bond skill is really good. If you have Salazar, she pumps out a lot of extra damage. Salazar's bond skill makes him tankier. He gets extra health. It's not crazy, but you know, whatever. It makes him a better tanky fighter. Salazar is a great nuke of a fighter. He puts out bleeds, um, which is damage over time and increased physical damage from all uh, champions on your team that are attacking that target. Can put out some serious numbers. He's Highly useful. I use him in my AMR 18 speed run. I use him in single target arena. He has value, absolutely. And he is what a lot of people want. But you still should not pull this weekend because next week is Valentine's Day. And we know that there is going to be a guaranteed banner for Lust, 250 summons, and she is exceptional. She's so good. So good. Um, she puts out incredible damage. She has an amazing bond skill with arrogance. There's also going to be a banner for arrogance who is top tier pretty much everywhere in the game. Uh, and in addition to that, we know that there will be a Silas and Vierna banner incoming also. And the likelihood, the, the likely scenario is that that is also next week. We know Lust and Arrogance is next week. We don't know that Silas and Vierna is, but we know that there's like five days on the calendar next week that are four summons, and it makes sense, right, that uh, they would do... Um, they're also doing skins for Silas and Vierna, so it makes sense that they would put out two fantastic banners, make people either wail their heads off or 
really decide, you know, where they want to utilize their resources on, you know, Lust and Arrogance who are excellent or Silas and Vierna who are excellent. Vierna is a top tier AoE mage. She's got an execution ability currently in the game. Only her and Uridin have that execution ability. Very, very useful, especially in Gear Raid 1. Silas is incredible. Silas is the best boss killer in the game, period. Um, when you get him awakened, when you have Vierna for his bond skill, he puts out so much damage, it's disgusting. He's in my Gear Raid 121 run, speed run, 221 speed run, 321 speed run. Um, I use him for my 50k guild boss team. I use him for um, Nightmare Void Rift on all the bosses. I use him for my speed run on 917 in like a minute flat. He's just so busted good. Um, if if they're running a Silas Vierna banner concurrent or like right next to a Lust and Arrogance banner, that's going to be tough to pick between, all right? But either way, both of those banners are better than this one, okay? Salazar's good. He is not Silas. He is not Lust. He is not Arrogance. He's not Vierna. Um, there will be another time to get Salazar. And remember, there probably there won't be another time to get Lust for probably at least a year because she is a uh, a limited a limited event champ. So you pull her in this banner, and that's it. And then she's gone. She's not in the normal pool until Moonton decides to bring her back for another limited event. Okay. So save your summons. Save your summons. Save your summons. Uh, uh, that's that's all I have. That's my advice this weekend. That's what I'm doing, even for your weekly quests, all right? Don't pull your 10 for your weekly quests. Just let it run over for a few days. You'll be fine. It's worth it. Don't reset your pity. Get the good legendaries next week, okay? That's my video. Thank you so much for your time. If you appreciated this, please support the channel. Like, comment, subscribe, share it with your friends. Join the Discord server. It's a ton of fun. Super laid-back community. Uh, love helping folks. So come be a part of the team. And I will see you in the next one.